In this series we're going to see how we can use the Jet Engine to create a website. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So the first video is basically for me to explain why you will use the Jet Engine and what you can create with that and also I'm going to install it in a website, in a clean website. So uh, this series is basically for beginners, we're going to start from the beginning and it will have a slow pace, so if you have used uh, Jet Engine before or if you have used another uh, tool to create custom post types like ACF, like Metabox, like Pods or something like that, then I think this series will be a little bit slow for you guys. So. Uh, let's get started. Now I want first to make clear what we're going to do in this series. We're going to create a website using the Jet Engine but I'm not going to make a review uh, or a comparison about the Jet Engine against the other tools. I'm not going to test uh, how it works and I'm not going to say that this is better for this uh, reason or that. Uh, I know that Jet Engine is uh, quickly enough. It uh, doesn't add too many requests in the website so you can use it if you like if you can afford it of course uh, I'm not saying that it's expensive it uh, has a great deal uh, Crocoblox uh, tools have, are great for what they are doing uh, but the main uh, difference between Jet Engine and the other tools that may use is uh, that Jet Engine was specifically designed to work with Elementor. If you're using the ACF, you can use it pretty much with every page builder. If you're using Pods or Metabox or anything else, you may find yourself that you can use with another page builder. But Jet Engine was designed to work alongside with Elementor. It may work with uh, Oxygen, for example, but if you're going to add uh, checkboxes, you will see that it has problems. So it, it doesn't work. 100% it may work in some cases but if you want to use it you should use it with Elementor at this moment. So let's see first the prices of the Jet Engine and then we're going to explain what kind of websites you can create with that uh, just to understand why you may need custom post types. And what is custom post type? So uh, Jet Engine let's go and see first the price. So as you can see for a single site and for one year is $26. Keep in mind that this price will may go up at some point. Then we have the unlimited websites for one year at $54. And then we have the Jet plugins for $85 per year. And if you click here learn more you will see how many plugins this price will include. It's 10 plugins. And as you can see, Jet Engine, Jet Booking, Jet Appointment, Reviews, Search, uh, Smart Filters, pretty much they have added the plugins that they think you may need with the Jet Engine to create websites. Uh, so uh, you can also have an Unlimited, which is here for $75 at this moment. It's uh, forever. It's a one-time fee. And if you buy, if you can pay this, I think it's worth the money. But this is more for agencies. I don't think that if you're going to create your website, uh, this is something that you can afford or you're willing to pay. So let's go back and let's see some examples of the websites that you can create with the Jet Engine. And here we will see that we have here some uh, listings for houses. Then we have some uh, services like a barber. Let's go to the third one, which is a car dealership, when you will uh, show your cars. This is for a rental and uh, the last one is a hotel. So let's go to our website and if you have used uh, WordPress before, you may see, uh, you may have seen that it has here the posts. Post is basically uh, the dynamically added content. So this is something that you may add uh, in most cases frequently, maybe once a day, twice a day, uh, it depends on the website that you are creating. If you are creating a news website then you may add uh, 20 or 30 posts a day and the pages are most for the uh, static content. Of course, the, of course there are pages that uh, have sections that uh, dynamically refresh so they will show in the uh, in some cases you may need to show in the home page the news or uh, some offers or something like your products 
or stuff like that but the pages are something that you create once you create the style and then you don't need to edit them you go into the post and just add the data that you want to display so you style the website and then you just add the content and this is basically how WordPress is uh, usually works so uh, I'm going first to explain what is a custom post type why you may need a custom post type so when we are using the post and let's go to add a new post you will see here that you have your title let's wait first for that to load so here it's a title then we have here uh, the content that we may need to add and then we have here some other settings so uh, let me just go and delete because I have already inside the appearances and even though I wanted to say that this is a cl clean website I did make a test before that for some reason and I left here the cadence theme so let's just delete that okay let's activate that activate and let's uh, delete the cadence and let's go back and refresh so here I can add the title of the post and then beneath that I can add the text and inside the text I can add anything that I want and here I can add the categories and everything else but if you're creating a website that has content it's, that is identical uh, to the next one and when I say identical I don't say the information I mean the things that you want to add so if you are adding uh, if you're creating a recipe website you may need to add here the fields for ingredients for the time that uh, the recipe will take to be completed for how hard it is and other fields that you will add in every recipe that you're going to add so you don't want to add that in your content you want to have specific fields for that and that's why you may need to add a, a add custom posts custom uh, fields sorry not custom post custom fields so this is for creating custom fields but uh, you can also add custom post types so you can add here another post type that will call a recipe and then you will go and add the recipes inside there and then you will have the posts to add the news so basically you are a chef and you want to add your recipes but you also add news inside your website the news will be that uh, in your restaurant you will add some dishes in your uh, restaurant there will be offers there will be something this is the news but the recipes are the other posts that you want for people to see and those will have uh, fields that you want to add so let's see some examples and hopefully you will understand because this is the most difficult part for you to separate uh, the things that you may want to add and what is custom post type what is custom field and where where do you need to create something like that so uh, this is a recipe website and I randomly google it uh, I don't know this website and as you can see uh, we're not looking about the style at this moment we're not looking anything like that we're just looking for the information uh, it says here that it has prep for preparation 20 minutes cook how many uh, how much time it takes to cook the total serving how many people will serve and the yield and also ingredients and here it has the directions this is the content the main content and then it has nutrition so uh, at the back end the one uh, the person that adding the recipe he will have some fields so he will not forget to add the preparation the cooking time the total the servings he will have separate fields to add all of those stuff of course he will add uh, how it will be done the main content but he will also add everything else here we have a, a, a film review and if I go to the top no this is the uh, one that I searched this is a rotten tomato tomatoes so here you will see that it has uh, the featured image this is the featured image that it has uh, this is something that you may also like and this is uh, the uh, 79 that it was the opening and uh, other movies but here you will see that this is uh, a custom field that says 60% was from the tomato meter and 70% from the audience score and if I click here I will see other scores no I don't want that I want to see here 
as you can see more info this is the content but these are fields that you will need to add in every other movie so the rating the gender original language director producer writer and everything else will be as a custom field let's go to the next one which will be uh, something like escape to the country okay and here we have the summary of the movie this is the main title this is the featured image and this is uh, where it will be played this is from the radio times okay bbc and this is the cast and crew presenter uh, executive producer serious editor so these are the custom fields uh, next example this is uh, uh, something that sell houses or show houses again uh, random website and as you can see this is the featured image this is the title and this are the custom fields that they have added to the price the bedrooms bathrooms exterior uh, this is the description and then if we click see more we will see the description and then we have also other custom fields property id property type market buy status listing price and as you can see everything else here and of course the map down here which is also a custom field it's a map so again we're not looking for the design at this moment we're just looking to understand what is a custom field and custom post type so uh, after that next thing we're going to do is go into the jet engine and we're going to download and install the jet engine plugin hopefully by now you have understand why you may need to install and add a custom post type also i would like to say that if you are running woocommerce woocommerce is a custom post type it's a post type created just to sell products so it has every feature yet you may need of course it has too many options but it, it's a custom post type you can create a, a custom post type like products using the jet engine and create something that looks like the WooCommerce of course it will take too much time too much effort for something that's already free but you can create something like that using the jet engine let's go into the crocoblocks and let's go up at the top and let's go and sign in here I'm going to log in I'm going from the beginning as I've said so let's go to jet engine here's jet engine the current version is 2.6.2 .2. download it save it and just save it where you want to save it okay replace yes and then here I'm going into the settings first I'm going into the permalinks and the first thing that I'm going to do is change the permalinks to post name always do that when you're creating a website with uh, WordPress because this will create a uh, uh, permalinks that are good for SEO this is not good with the date or time or the ID of the post you need to uh, change it to the post name okay save changings and then let's go into the plugins install plugins and here you may find that you have some plugins uh, you can delete that if you're starting from the beginning and let's go and add new I'm going to click here that says upload this is from the WordPress repository so basically this is the library of uh, the plugins that you have right now and these are all free and once I hit upload I can now click browse and select the plugin that I have downloaded the jet engine also you can just drag it from the place that you have downloaded into the browse button button and just leave it and then it will automatically be uh, named here and then click install now once it's installed we're going to click activate it and then we will see that we have a new uh, type here a new thing here so I'm going to activate that and you will see that here it will say jet engine so uh, this is the jet engine and we're going to see uh, what it has uh, very quickly because we're going to explain everything later on so this is basically the features that you may need to enable we're going to see uh, working with uh, some of those features then we have the skin manager where you can export and import custom post types and everything else and also it has the presets here we have the shortcode generate to export that to and show it in the front end we'll see later on what you can use this is the listing we're going to see later on what it is and how you can use it because it's a very important thing uh, this is where you create the custom post type and the custom fields for that uh, custom post type the meta boxes are custom fields for multiple uh, post types so you can add 
uh, a field and add it inside the post, inside the pages, inside the media, inside everywhere that you may not want it. Then we have the taxonomies, which is basically uh, custom categories, may I say it? Like when you go to post, you will see that it has categories. This is a taxonomy. So the taxonomy is something that you can separate uh, the fields that you are adding, the posts that you are adding by categories, or you will see how it works later on. Then we have relationships. Then you can link here the custom post types and everything else. And of course, option pages. And we will see later on what it is also. So... Uh, this was for the first video. This is what was the introduction. Hopefully you have understand what is a custom post type because it's a little bit difficult to do it in the beginning. But once you, are, uh, you have understand that, you will understand what you can build with it. It has amazing capabilities and you can expand your design with that. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you all in the next video of this series. Remember to subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like it and I will see you all in the next. Bye.